Motives Menaces. How you doing? I'm doing blessed and highly favored in Jesus name and in today's video we're going to be going over why you can't hear god's message why you can't hear god's voice now for some goofy stinky odd reason a lot of people think that when they pray they're supposed to hear a great and loud and deep voice from the heavens from the clouds but my boy you goofy we are not in a cartoon my boy we are in real life say for example jesus is on the right and satan is on the left and you are directly in the middle and keep in mind the distance between you and satan and you and jesus is exactly Exactly one mile now obviously if you've been living more christ-like if you've been denying yourself and picking up your cross if you've been actually rebuking the kingdom of darkness you would be closer towards jesus because you would hear his message better but you see a lot of people are actually pleasing themselves they're actually pleasing themselves they are pleasing the enemy they think that good works is going to save them but my boy this is actually the lie from the enemy and this means you're actually closer towards the enemy because you're hearing his message over god's and the closer you get to one of these sides the harder it is to turn back because now you're increasing the amount of time the amount of distance it takes to turn back and i hope you're not decreasing the gap between the devil you want to be actually decreasing the gap between you and jesus that way you can actually hear his message way clearer but you got to disclose the gap between you and the enemy because when i was lost in the valley of darkness there was no light i was that lost sheep but you see jesus he leaves the 99 in order to save the lost one and he went out and went to find me and when he found me he reached his hand out and i grabbed it and ever since that day i never went back now another reason why you don't feel god's presence in your life is because fear is holding you back you see the enemy is implanting this fear into your mind into your mindset into your life so that you get distracted from the word of God because many people think that when they are in the presence of God they are going to be condemned for their sins but my boy the only reason why God would condemn you in the first place is because of the enemy and you see God he did not send his son to condemn the world rather he sent his son so that the world can be saved through him because when God speaks when Jesus speaks he speaks words of encouragement he doesn't speak these words to condemn you to say you're a bad person no my boy he says these words so that he can save you from the enemy and you see 99% of the time God's voice isn't actually audible now I'm not saying you can't hear God's voice but what I'm saying is you can also be hearing another voice you can be hearing the voice of the enemy so right now you have to be really careful to who you're actually listening to but you see the holy spirit within you is going to be working with god because god isn't talking to the enemy through you no he's talking to the holy spirit within you that way you can know what god's plan is but you see the enemy right now aka satan he is trying to distract you from hearing god's message from hearing god's word from hearing his actual plan for your life and he is doing this by giving you that pleasure he is doing this by giving you your worldly desires because everyone wants things of this world right like money they want to have that pleasure that hey 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 you know that's why there's millions of hub users daily because they're giving themselves that pleasure everyone is chasing that pleasure but you see this is the same exact thing that is distracting you from your journey with god pleasure that the enemy is giving you the pleasure that you're receiving this fake gmo goofy crusty lustful pleasure is going against the spirit because the desires of the flesh go against the spirit so right now you are pleasing the flesh and your holy spirit is telling you not to do this because what happens after you oh you get that post not clarity and you feel like shit after doing this because you know the holy spirit within you knows that what you're doing is wrong it's going against the spirit because you are pleasing the flesh and you see this is what is keeping you distant this is what is distracting you from the word from god's plan because right now you're giving into the plan of the enemy and you cannot serve two masters at once my boy so you gotta pick a side because right now what you're doing is giving into the plan of the enemy the enemy is gonna try to please you he's gonna give you these pleasures he's gonna give you everything of this world but you're your soul is still going to be empty. E yo, I just thought of this example. Say for example, you have a pair of headphones. Now on one side of the headset is God's message, which is at 25% volume. But on the other side is the enemy Satan's message, which is at 75%. 
which message are you going to hear better? The one with 25% or the one at 75%? Obviously, the one at 75%, which is the enemy's message because it's louder. And you see, this is what you're doing. You are basically putting the enemy's message way louder. The enemy's message is going to be way clearer to you if you're going to be working through him, if you're going to be committing these sins. And the more you give into these sins, the louder the enemy's message is going to be, the clearer his message, his scheme is going to be. Because as you keep raising this volume, raising the enemy's volume, the lesser, the quieter, the harder it is to hear God's message. But so many people think that when they pray to God, when they ask something from God and they don't receive it like that or within the next day that God isn't listening to them. But bro, this is literally a lie from the enemy because the enemy, he tries to make it seem just like in the cartoons that God will answer upon your command. And if he doesn't, he isn't listening. But bro, this is literally a lie from Satan himself. But God doesn't just speak through his voice. He actually speaks through actions, through other things in your life other areas in your life for example he may remove certain people from your life like your friends like i'm not saying he's cutting them off like literally like killing them no but i'm just saying he's picking these certain people out your life because they were holding you back from building your relationship with god because these people worship a false god they don't believe in jesus they believe in the enemy they believe in satan's lies they continue to fornicate give into lust you know what i'm saying the list just goes on and you see these people are lukewarm. Even some people that you may know that say they're Christian and they, they say they say they go to church, but bro, they don't actually follow the way. They believe in Jesus, but they don't actually follow him. <laughs> like I remember when I was very lukewarm, I used to ask God for things. And if I didn't receive it within a few days, I would be like very upset with him. Like I'd be like, bro, like I'm asking, like God, you say ask and I shall receive, but why am I not receiving it? But bro, all good things take time to build. All good things take time to prepare. Like right now, God is preparing you for a certain season of growth. And in order to grow, you need to actually have that faith in him. Because you see right now, he is testing you by your faith. And just because you ask for something one day and don't receive it the next day, that is basically just showing you how little your faith is. How little your faith is in God. Because if you actually had faith in God, you would go with him throughout the long run. If you say you're a good person, Person and you define yourself based off of your works, you are not really building that relationship with Jesus because in the Bible, it literally says that the evil of this world can give good gifts to children. So my boy, how much more blessings do you think the Father in heaven, how much blessings do you think Jesus is going to bless you? Because obviously the evil, the bad guys of this world can give gifts, right? So how much greater can the blessings of God be? Obviously, it's going to be way bigger. But how can you receive these blessings? How can you actually know what he's trying to give you if you are blocking his message? If you are valuing, you are raising up the volume of the enemy's message. Because you see right now, you may think you are in that relationship you are building that relationship with God because you're going to church but you still are fornicating you still are going back to your old ways and back to the enemy and that is showing who you truly are so my boy you gotta actually block the message of the enemy and actually raise up the volume on Jesus's on God's message in Jesus name because on this channel we rebuke the kingdom of darkness and we embrace the kingdom of righteousness stay blessed stay wealthy and remember to keep surpassing your limits and I'll see you guys in the next one Thank you.